All right, so this is a way to level up this hip strengthening and stabilizing drill. And this is using a 10 pound dumbbell. Now 10 pounds isn't a whole lot of weight, but keep in mind these movements go through a pretty big range. You're gonna feel the difference if you're not used to this kind of thing or adding extra weight. And of course, you can always take things further. If you want something heavier, feel free. Just be sure you can control the movement even if you're taking a heavier load. So be sure it's a load you can actually handle. We're going pretty deep. So to start, left with your base, right hand on the wall. Let the right hand trace the wall. Right knee high, come into an eagle bind. Squeeze your legs together, hinge forward, and bring your belly to your thigh. Come back up with the right knee lifted. Hinge forward, right leg straight back. Bend both knees, bring the right knee down outside your left leg. Press straight up with the right knee lifted. Cross the legs again, right knee over the left, squeeze down, hinge forward. Come back up with the right knee high. Hinge forward, right leg straight back. Bend both knees, right knee down outside your left leg. Come straight up with the right knee lifted. Third round, right leg over left. Squeeze down, hinge forward. Come straight up with the right knee lifted. Hinge forward, right leg straight back. Bend both knees, bring this down low. Come straight up with the right knee lifted. And then fourth round, right leg crosses over the left, squeeze in. Come back up with the right knee high. Hinge forward, right leg straight back. Bend both knees, bring the right knee down outside your left leg. And then come back up with the right knee lifted. Right leg over, left hinge forward, squeeze down. Come back up with the right knee high. Hinge forward, right leg straight back. Bend both knees, right knee down outside your left foot. Come back up the right knee high. Fifth round, right leg over the left. Squeeze in, hinge forward. Come back up the right knee lifted. Hinge forward, right leg straight back. Bend both knees, right knee down outside your left foot. Come back up the right knee high and then relax and switch hands. So now the weights in my right hand, left hands on the wall, right foot's my base. So starting here, left knee high, eagle bind, left leg over the right, squeeze down, hinge forward. Come back up with the left knee lifted, hinge forward, left leg straight back. Bend both knees, left knee down outside the right foot. Come back up with the left knee high. Eagle bind, squeeze the legs together, hinge forward. Come back up, the left knee lifted. Hinge forward, left leg straight back. Bend both knees, right knee down, out, the left knee down outside the right leg. Press straight up, left knee high. Cross the legs, eagle bind, third round. Come back up, the left knee lifted. Hinge forward, left leg straight back. Bend both knees, left knee outside the right foot. Come straight up, left knee high. Fourth round, left leg over the right. Squeeze in and fold down. Come back up, left knee lifted. Hinge forward, left leg straight back. Bend both knees, left knee down outside the right foot. Come straight up, right knee up. And then right, left leg over, right eagle bind, fold down fifth round. Come back up with the left knee lifted. Hinge forward, left leg straight back. Bend both knees, left knee down outside the right foot. Come straight up, left knee high. And then go ahead, relax. And again, you can take that heavy if you like, but all this is just to basically stabilize and strengthen the hip of a standing leg. Thank you.